Now, former regional chairman of the NPP, Bugri Nabo, has confirmed he was the one with two other pleas in the late tape in a plot to remove the IGP. Mr. Nabu made this revelation at a committee set up by Parliament to investigate the tape. We'll now take you to Parliament to listen to excerpt of what he's been saying. So, can kindly can turn off your microphone. So, with this information at the back of your mind, if somebody says, you have to change an IGP before elections outcomes are favorable to your party. What view would you hold about that person? Mr. Chairman, this one I can't tell much because it's the president power. He appoint, he dismiss. And that was why when they came to tell me, I find it necessary to ensure that I listen to them and also carry their voice to the big man. Let me take you further to page 17. No, 13 first. And on page 13 of the transcript, this is what transpired. You have one of the officers say to you, and I suppose he was referring to the IGP. He says, I don't know. I called him. I told him that I'm here. Well, don't know that part. My fear that the elections, how this man is going to help us. He can't help us. I'm quoting. He won't. He won't. He wants to make sure that everything is fair. Do this. Alaji, we don't go to elections like that. Too. And then you say no. Then he repeated, we don't do elections like that at all. Then you said no again. Alaji, is there something wrong when an officer, the police, act fairly to all parties in election situations? They hold the balance. If, if Mr. A acts in a manner that is contrary to the law, they arrest. It doesn't matter what your political color is. If it's NDC, you flout the law, they arrest. If it's MPP, you flout the law, they arrest. Such fairness, is that not what is expected of our police? You'd agree. Let me do my last question. And here, <clears throat> one of the speakers also told you something which is quite alarming. Page 17. And here, the speaker said to you, Chief, that we should have selected some of our own people to go there so that we work with the party. They go over there, then they know how to do things. Here, oh, I mean, it's clear. He was saying that the, the, the IGP had sent persons who were not party people to the elections at Asin, and that he ought to have sent party people so that they work together with party. Which of the officers said this? Do you know his name? Was it Asari or Mensa, COP Mensa? I suspect any of them could have said, but I heard it. 
That one is true. But I don't know who he exactly say now. But they said it. They said uh, he sent only NDC people. All the commissioners who were there were NDC. None of our people were there. And he makes sure he sees our people, their guns, and also arrest some of them. And there were tension in our, our strong area. Chief, as a seasoned politician, former regional chairman, close confidant to the president, you, you, no, you. No, vice, he's not said so. Oh, that is a confidant? Yes, of the, of president. Of the president. Yes. Ah. <laughs> please, please, please. <laughs> very well. <laughs> Well, very well. Uh, well, but he's a seasoned politician. Yes, he is. But I, I know him. He's forgotten about me. I've acted as lawyer for him before in the past. Yes. That's why. Now my, he remembers. My chiefs are angry with you. <laughs> Chief, for asking no. my former client questions. No, no, that, that no, initially. Me on, the, on, the, on the radio yesterday. Uh -huh. Oh, I, oh. Yes. So, so let me let me tell you this a simple complaint. See, to be very fair to him, Chief, I never knew that you have been skinned. Yeah, but he is telling me that you know. So oh, you should have prompted the committee that oh, let's address him as, as chief. chief. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, chief. that's the only problem. Yeah. Chief, accept my apologies. <laughs> I, I, I apologize I, I for. I it for everybody. Uh, yes, I should have uh, made the disclosures yeah. much, much earlier. Yes, yes, yes. but but Chief. Oh, I mean, his, I did the pro bono case for him. It's my father, you know. <laughs> At the time, you know, he and the late Indebu were very close. So I represented him upon the instructions of the late Honorable Indeburi. <laughs> yes. Chief, uh, as a very seasoned politician and all that, um, The, the, the question is here, you, when, when you heard from the officers that the commissioners who had been deployed by the IGP to Asin were NDC, did you do some consultations to establish the truth? Or otherwise of what the officers have told you. Remember, what? you said a while ago that you, uh, on some occasion, had reason to uh, confer with a member of the police council to substantiate certain things. Mm. Some names are corrupt. Some names I know they are not NDC. Some too I cannot talk. I don't know their background or their politics. But if to conclude, given 